Welcome to Photography BB's Artistry Effects for Photoshop. In this tutorial, we'll look at how to change an image into a sketch using the Memento sketch effect. Let's jump on into Photoshop and see how to accomplish this effect. This effect comes in a square template format. So to use the effect, all you have to do is open the Memento sketch template into Photoshop as we've done here. And to get our image into the template to transform it into a sketch, all we need to do is double click on the top layer thumbnail right here, not on the text of the top layer itself. Double click on the top layer thumbnail and that's going to open the smart object layer. Now this smart object layer is where we Im uh, import our own photo. We do that by going to the menu file, place embedded. And for this particular effect, I'm going to work with uh, this image right here. Now, when we place our image into Photoshop, it's going to fit it inside the template. And then we can use the anchor points here to rearrange and um, zoom the, the image in however you like. So I'm going to zoom it to about this, but I'm going to move it down a little bit right about here to place it. Now to fin finalize the placement of the image, all you have to do is click the check box here and that places your image into the template. Now this template is designed to work without having to remove the background of your subject. But for this example, because it's very easy to do in Photoshop CC, I'm going to remove the background and simply going to do that using the contextual taskbar. And that can be found under window and then right at the bottom, contextual taskbar. And if you bring that up, you can select your subject, which I like to do in this case, this way, and then you can mask your subject out by clicking the mask button here in the layers uh, palette. So now that's removed the background from my main subject, but I do have this default template file um, background showing. So I'm going to hide the visibility of that. And now I just have my main subject masked and extracted out from its background. So now to get the sketch effect, all we have to do is close up the smart object layer by clicking the little X right here and then saying save. And then Photoshop will transform this image for us magically. Okay, and there we have our Memento sketch effect. Now we do have some optional controls here in the layers uh, palette and we'll go through those to see what we can do with this effect here. So we'll start with the optional controls layer group and we can toggle that open to see what's inside here. So the first one we have is tone and texture. So if we toggle open the tone and texture layer group, we have some options to work with. The first is the vignette layer, which we can turn on and off. And you can see the effect there. Now I like to keep it on because it really pulls the view um, right into the middle of the image by having that on. You can see how it sort of draws the eye to the center of the image a little bit more. We do have a green feature, which I can turn on and off. Now you may not see it very well in this demo video, but let's zoom in quite a bit. And right about here, if I toggle on the green, you can see how it adds a nice green. And this can give uh, sort of a uniformity to the image as well. And if it's too strong or not strong enough, you can highlight the layer to make it active and then adjust the opacity to your liking. So you can crank it up if you want more green or you can reduce it if you like the green but not so strong. So let's keep it, uh, I actually like it turned on. So we'll keep it on, but at about 25%. And next we have our standard controls here. We can darken the image, we can brighten the image, and we can add some contrast to the image as well. And we can make changes to any of these by double clicking on the adjustment layer icon, and then you can make further refinements if necessary to your image. So for now, I'll toggle that off. And we can close up the tone and texture group here. And next we can move into the color shift options right here by toggling that open. And the first we have is making it completely black and white, which has a very nice effect for this sketch. But I do like the color version of that. It's a subtle color. I'm just going to zoom back out so you can see the whole image here. And then we have uh, 10 different color options that you can choose from just by toggling them on and off. 
And these just give a subtle color shift to the image depending on the style and the particular image that you're working with as well. So we'll toggle close the color shift options layer and we'll toggle close these optional controls. And then we can dive into the main subject layer. There's not a whole lot to play around with here, except we do have a color adjustment to some outlines that we can play with here. And actually, sorry, I will zoom back in so you can see that. Now this is sort of a highlight feature of this particular sketch effect. So if I double click on the color swatch here, I can make color adjustments to these highlighted lines in the image and you can see how it affects now these areas that are green here you can make them blue and if I zoom back out so you can see the whole image you can really see the effect that that has on the entire image when we make changes to it and it's just a really subtle little detail that can add a lot of impact on this image as well. And then you can, of course, drag the slider around in here to change the tone. If you wanted a darker tone or if you wanted a really bright and bold tone like that. Uh, I like a warm tone for this image, so I'm going to stick with something close to the default. Maybe go a little darker. And I find it, it blends in very nicely with this particular background tone that we're using as the default. But again, feel free to experiment with these. Uh, the blues can look really nice against this background as well, as you can see there. I'll just click cancel there. And those are some of the, uh, the options you can play with the color highlight there as well. So I've left that one open. So that should appear first when you toggle open the main subject layer group. And the next one that is open is the shadows lines adjustment. And this is the very subtle sort of diagonal lines that we have in the shadows here. And if you like the look of those, you can keep them on or you can toggle them off to remove those and it gives a different look. Not so much of a sketch look anymore, more of an illustration, um, but it's still a very nice effect. And again, you can turn that on and even reduce the opacity if you want to have more subtle diagonal shading lines look there. And then next we have some subject detail adjustment layers that you can play around with here just by toggling on and off the layer visibility. You can see how it gives some subtle changes to the image itself. And that's the base image right there. We can reduce the opacity of the original base, or we can bring it up strong to have more of the original underlying there. Uh, I like it around, let's say 70%. And I think for this image, it looks pretty good like that. Now, restore subject, if we want to restore the main subject look, uh, we can do that by increasing the opacity of this layer. We can go up and you see we bring back the original main subject like that. Now, that might be too strong uh, on all parts of your image. So one thing you can do here, go back down to 20%. Actually, we'll go to 0%. We won't restore any of the main subject, but we will add a layer mask to this layer and we'll invert the layer mask by pressing Command or Control I. That makes a black layer mask. And now we'll bring the opacity of this up to, let's say, around 50% just for the purpose of this tutorial. And then click on the layer mask to make it active and click on B to activate the brush tool. And then if we paint with a white brush, let's say at 50% opacity, we can bring back just selected areas of detail here by painting with a white brush. And you can see now I'm restoring the main subject only to certain parts of the image like that. And now you can see the effect that that has right there. And if we like what we've done, but it's still a little bit too strong or not strong enough, again, we can adjust the opacity of the adjustment that we just made. And this way you can highlight different parts of your image to restore certain details that may have gone missing during the sketch conversion. And lastly, 
we have the background color here to control the color of the background swatch and we can make adjustments to that by going to a different tone altogether we can bring it down a little bit we can go into the blacks even that's going to have a really cool look as well bright colors And you can just feel free to experiment and play with these to your liking. Click cancel to close that up. So that in a nutshell is our memento sketch effect. Thank you again for choosing artistry effects by photography BB and happy photoshopping.